Oh, hi. Welcome back. We're going to talk about Freestyle's big picture. It's an overview of what Freestyle is and how you will work with it. First, before you use Freestyle, you'll need to activate it in the Render tab in the Properties window. Now, you'll see two buttons, Absolute and Relative. These settings will only be used for line thickness. Absolute means whatever thickness we set, it is based on 100% of the render size. So let's say at 100% we want the line thickness to be at 10 pixels. At a quarter of the resolution, the line thickness will be 2.5 pixels wide. The relative option introduces a thickness multiplier to keep the line thickness unchanged even when the render image resolution is changed. The thickness modifier is 1 when the image height is 480 pixels. If the image height is 960 pixels, the multiplier is 2, so that the line thickness will be doubled. In HD, which is a 1080 pixel height, a 2 pixel thickness will be 2 times 2 equals 4 pixels wide. Just remember, with absolute, you set the thickness based on 100% of the render size. With relative, you set the thickness based on a 480 pixel height, and the thickness multiplies with that render height. Next, a question. Why is Freestyle in the Render Layer tab? Why not in the Render tab along with the Activation button? To explain that, we'll need to understand the concept of view map. View map is the data that Freestyle produces to draw lines. In one render layer, there can only be one view map. Each view map has one value of the following variables. We'll look at these in detail in later stages. In order for Freestyle to draw lines, it needs to select them. And that is what the Line Set panel is for. You can select by visibility, edge type, edge or face marks, and by group. After Freestyle knows which lines to draw, you can style the lines in the Line Style panel. You can change the line chaining, color, alpha, thickness, and add geometry modifiers to change line behavior. When it is time to render the lines, Freestyle will see what render layer has Freestyle activated, which line type to be detected, which style to draw the line, and finally render the lines. Just like the order of how you set up the line. And now that you know how Freestyle works, I'll introduce you to one thing you should probably do from now on. It will make your Freestyle experience much easier in the long run. Just like with mesh objects, materials, and textures, you should name each line set and line style. When you go advanced, which we'll do in a later stage, you'll need to rename your render layers too. This is a best practice that will be shown and drilled into you. You can't run from it, it's the law. To sum it up, one render layer can only have one view map. Freestyle renders lines by first selecting the edges to draw lines on, attaches a style, and then it draws the lines. Second, always rename your everything. Don't leave it to Blender to name your awesome line styles. Blender is pretty good, but not that smart. If Blender was that smart, there would be an awesome button to decide which line to draw for you, and no more fiddling with settings. But alas, we can only dream.